So Chucky Season 2, Episode 4, Death on Denial trailer, let's talk about it. It opens with a clip of Sunstrack coming upon a dead body or corpse and reacting in a normal way anybody would react to a death, with Joe Pantoliano following along with next, a shot of Tiffany and Meg Tilly reacting to the death, with the rest of the cast slash people joining in with Sunstrack, Meg Tilly, Joe Pantoliano, Gina Gershon, Tiffany, Glenn, and Glenda. And yes, the bound cast members along with Meg Tilly are all playing themselves. It's all cool. As Gina Gershon says, so this is a mystery, murder mystery party, which is kind of confusing telling by the plot synopsis, which reads, Tiffany's secrets are threatened by a surprise intervention. All of this is, or that line at least, is confusing because interventions are usually thrown by friends or family, and I'll assume the Bound cast threw it for her or Meg Tilly, and if we're speaking of Meg Tilly, I still find it, like, you know, I still very much find my theory on the fact that Meg is playing Jennifer Tilly's real-life sister in the series, and she doesn't know it's Tiffany yet is true. I say this because we have the Bound cast here, and then just Meg Tilly, who wasn't inbound. So, I'll say it's true, which is, which would be cool, or is very cool. Tiffany points around the room and says, all of you are suspects, versus her, the most possible and logical suspect, but they don't know that or why. Also, to call back to the fact or theory that they could be sisters in the show, or Meg Tilly thinks it's Jennifer Tilly, it would make sense that they're standing next to each other, as maybe Jennifer Tilly slash Tiffany was showing her sister around, like, you know, the house, around, around her house slash mansion, and or they were just talking unless she was showing them all around until they found a body in that case I'll shut up. Next, Tiffany is seen approaching a body on the floor, and I can't tell if it's the body they found or find slash found, and maybe this is Tiffany finding it, or they left it there to not tamper with evidence, or if this is someone Tiffany killed, maybe one of the bound cast, or the person they find, it's all very complex, or it could be the detective from the last episode, or episode two, the centers are much more fun, and maybe that's the dead body. We then see all of the people, including everyone mentioned, sitting in the front room, I'll assume I assume this is after the discovery of the dead body, since Gina Gershon is armed with one of those sticks next to a fireplace, or yeah, fireplace, and Meg Tilly's staring out the window, and it's also cool to see Glenn and Glenda. There's a part where all six of them are shown on screen, there's not much to get from this section here, although we do see Nika through a window, and it looks normal, until we see some arms come up from behind her, and likely start to push the wheelchair. Now we've seen and covered footage of Nika with arms, obviously they look like they're on her or attached to her, and she's rolling away the same way Glenda chases after her, so I'm not sure if she has them already, or if someone will give them to her, or if she'll get them now, and or if it's all a dream. We see Glenda likely chasing Nika as we've seen in other trailers. In the same outfits they are in in this episode and during the party night, so I guess we'll have to see how she escapes. Also, calling back to that one clip of Meg Tilly looking out the window, I've wondered if maybe she'll see Nika and alert everybody and then Glenda will be alerted to go and run after her, maybe by Tiffany. It's just a theory. There have also been some photos posted for episode 4 and some of them are just our characters hanging out and don't really show or offer any info. To speedrun that them at first is Glenn, Glenda, Joe, Meg, and Jeeves, which it looks like he's a butler or something. He's the only character we don't know who isn't playing themselves, so I wonder if he'll be the murder victim or death. It seems they're all looking at Glenn. Maybe they're talking. If so, what? The cake looks like the one Tiffany was cooking or baking in episode 2, and it has 18 as a candle, I think. So I wonder what's that for, or what, what that's for. I mean, Tiffany said Glenn and Glenda are coming for their birthdays, so I've no clue if the, any of the math lines up. I mean, Scene of Chucky takes place in 2004 when Glenn and Glenda get their human bodies, so in 2022, if, like, you know, the show takes place then, they'd be 18. Although, if we're gonna go off of Glenn and Glenda were born in Brian of Chucky, they'd be 24. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll assume this is just an 18th birthday cake. Tiffany entering the room to her friends and family, or family and friends and the cake. Meg Tilly sharing a drink with Glenn and Glenda, 
it's all cool. Nico with a ball gag, all I'm not sure. Like, I'm sure we can see some people entering the room throughout the trailer or entering this room or Nika's room throughout the trailer, so I don't know. I mean, I know Glenn and Glenn do eventually find out about Nika and, like, you know, find Nika, so that'll likely happen this episode, considering Glenda goes running after Nika, or considering Glenda goes to run after Nika. So as a part I kind of missed, there was an aspect or scene or clip of Nika kind of laughing maniacally, kind of in the Chucky form or the Chucky Charles Lee Ray form that, like, you know, usually happens when she sees blood or when Nika sees blood or any sight of, like, death or anything. I'm assuming mostly blood since in episode 2, I think. Tiffany did cut her hand in from Nika, showed her the blood, she all of a sudden transformed into Chucky and everything, said, hi, doll, you better watch how I'm coming for you and everything. And she transforms into the Chucky form right here. And I do wonder if this is in front of Glenn, Glenda, any of the party guests like Meg Tilly, Gina Gershon, Sunstrack, Joey Pantoliano, or just any of them. I do wonder who it is in front of and who she's like talking to, laughing at. Unless it's like, you know, Chucky talking to Chucky, because obviously Nika at the moment, kind of spoilers, has a tiny alliance with Chucky a little bit only a little bit she did not forgive the little fucker but I do wonder who she's talking to here yet again it could be any of the people I did mention like you know party guest or Nika or like you know or Glenn or Glenda or maybe Tiffany too I don't know as I was writing and about to record a sneak peek or clip release of Glenn Glenda and Tiffany and it's pretty much as soon as Tiffany welcomes them wishes them a happy birthday until Glenda tries to put their coat away and Tiffany snops them or stops them to Glenn and Glenda's surprise and she tells them to take a load off since it's their special day I am so excited for this episode I can't wait to just see Glenn and Glenda I'll admit something about this scene or clip feels kind of awkward maybe it's because it's so quiet no cuts and no camera changes or no camera angle changes it's cool nothing's wrong with it so that's all i want to talk about in the video i'm personally very excited for this episode aka chucky season 2 episode 4 death on denial which i'll assume is a play on the title of the other film slash movie titled death on the nile which was said to be an inspiration i think for some of season 2 what are your thoughts who do you think is the mystery death who do you think will die and how if you're fan or have seen Bound, are you excited for a reunion in Chucky Season 2? Are you excited for the episode or this episode or are you excited for the episode? How do you think the episode will go? Will Nika get arms? How do you think like the Glenn, Glenda, and Nika interactions will go? So many questions although I guess we'll have to wait and see. As usual, all sources will be linked down below. Thanks for watching. Peace of my amigos and peace out.